So opening your own business is hard and finding the right business partner is likely even harder, but it is possible. Joining me for more is legal strategist John Snyder with some tips on how to choose the right partner for success. This is a tough one. Yes. <laughs> you know, so many people have so many ideas and yes, I want to go into business and you know, I want to go in, but that's a common mistake that people can make, not choosing the right partner, right? Absolutely, and, and Antoine, you know, today, uh, we are having a renaissance in this country of entrepreneurism Absolutely. with technology. Uh, Twenty years ago, uh, the smartest kids graduating from college all wanted to go work for big companies. Uh, today, they're going out and starting businesses. It's a wonderful thing, but uh, it really highlights the need for uh, young people and older people when they go start their business to pick the right partner. John, when you talk about picking the right partner, I think the first thing people think of, oh, well, we were best friends in college, this means that we'll be great business partners. That is not always the case, right? Well, you know, it's always good to go into business with people that you know and that you trust. So I favor people going into business with friends, but uh, don't assume that you're on a friend basis once you get into business. You need to uh, make sure that your agreements are very clear, operate in a business-like manner, and uh, treat people fairly and with respect, and uh, you know, expect that from your partners. Because it can end very messy, you know, if that's not the case. Yeah, I, you know, I'm a commercial litigator here in New York, and uh, probably half of my practice is uh, disputes among business partners. And uh, you know, most of the time, the partners started out as great friends. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to make money together. We're going to build something great. We're going to change the world. And then two years later, uh, <laughs> you know, they're in court. And uh, uh, you know, I'd like to I'd like to try to help as many uh, entrepreneurs stay out of court as possible and uh, be successful. So let's talk about some of the things we want to pass along to people as far as tips when it comes to do's and don'ts as far as picking a business partner. What would you say is the first or most important thing to do? Absolutely know who you're dealing with. Know them well. Uh, don't jump into partnerships uh, casually because partnerships like marriages are often easy to get into and hard to get out of. Now you also suggest you advocate hiring uh, a lawyer or someone to do a background check on this person. If you're, um, if you're dealing with somebody that you don't really know, uh, you should get a lawyer involved early on. Uh, a lot of people when they're starting out, I understand, you're, you're eating top ramen, you're trying mm -hmm. to uh, save every penny you can. You should get to know lawyers uh, who can help you early in the stage, who will not charge you an arm and a leg, uh, but will give you competent advice because I promise you, if you spend a little bit of money at the beginning, uh, you can save yourself a lot of heartache and a lot of hassles down the road. Now, as far as the operating agreement, is that something that the two friends should just go over dinner and work out to have a third party come in and do that? Well, it's good to have a lawyer work on that, and the reason is uh, a lawyer is going to uh, be able to anticipate and foresee uh, problems that uh, you know people that aren't as experienced might not even think of. Now, when it comes to certain operations, like um, people forget that Steve Jobs had a partner because you know he was the name, he was the face, you know, yeah. like that. That can happen where one partner may overshadow the other one. What's the best way to resolve that or to address that issue to make sure that everyone gets their due? Uh, probably the biggest uh, uh, problem that I see in partnerships often is uh, credit and mm -hmm. who gets the glory. So uh, at the beginning, um, if there's going to be one person who's out front, one person who's going to be the Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. make sure that you agree on that. Um, but also, uh, if you're a partner, be a good partner. That means give other people some credit, too. Don't hog the spotlight. Interesting. If I go into a business, I think I'm going to have to uh, give you a call. Give but. me a call anytime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To learn more about today's topics, go to myfoxny.com and click on the Public Affairs tab. You can also like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter. For all of us here at Fox 5, I'm Antoine Lewis. We'll see you next time for more Street Talk. Thanks for the company.